Hey everyone, happy Friday. It's Mike with FlowTrack. The team got some, has some awesome updates for you guys, so let's dive in. So yesterday we just released the Zapier step, and today I got my Pabli Green t-shirt on, and we're going to be releasing the Pabli Connect step inside the Flow Builder. So let's get started. So the reason why we put this in the Flow Builder is because a lot of people tell us, you know, they hate when systems kind of lock them into using predefined webhooks, right? And so what does that mean? Well, other systems will just let you do a webhook to Pabli or someone else, like when a task is created or when a contact is created or when a task is completed, right? And so we don't do that. We don't lock you into any of that. We let you put that step anywhere you want in a flow for anything. So let me give you a few examples. Um, if you just wanna send a, a Pabli webhook uh, and a Zapier webhook at the same time, no problem, just put it in a flow. If you want to have a email uh, blast flow, and let's say you send out an email, then you wanna wait to see if this email was clicked or not. If it was clicked, we could tag them, and then next we could send a webhook to Pabli, right? So I just go into Pabli, I copy the webhook URL, I paste it in here, I can control what data I wanna to send to them. You're like, oh, I wanna send the, you know, the person's state or whatever, right? You can pass whatever data you want, click save, and that's it, so you just connect it. So this allows you to put a webhook for anywhere and anything, like anything you can dream up. That's the cool flexibility of this system. Now, let's show you another example. What else can you do? Well, pretend you have uh, a flow that does a API call to another API and gets the price of Bitcoin, right? And it saves the price of the Bitcoin here. And it's going to check, do a condition if the price of Bitcoin is above 20000 or not. If it is, let's send the email. If they click the email, let's send it to Padly. Or we can say, you know what, we're going to send a webhook to Pabli if the price of Bitcoin is less than 20000 right? So you have complete flexibility to put this in here anywhere you want. Um, that's the cool thing about it. Now, this even works inside call flows. So let's say you have a um, uh, like an IVR, you're building an IVR. I think I have an example in here somewhere. So pick a, one of those call flow. There we go. Um, so in the middle of a phone call, right? So someone calls you, you can check uh, if the call was you know, answered, transferred, missed, whatever, sent to voicemail. You can insert these webhooks anywhere, even in the middle of a phone call. That's the beauty of having all in one, right? So I'm going to go over some of the questions over here, see what we got. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'm going to see them. Uh, we got some people saying good morning, everyone. So good morning to you as well, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. <laughs> so uh, does FlowTrack know... Uh, okay, I don't understand this one. So it says, does FlowTrack know uh, to check if the email was clicked? Uh, yeah, if you have the click tracking turned on in your email, you can totally track the click. So uh, inside the email builder, right, you just can go into the uh, settings over here and you have this uh, custom domain shortener. This actually allows you to use the click tracking feature. So if you try to use the click tracking feature, it'll tell you like, oh, you need to use this custom tracking domain. So this converts all the links in your email to a cool tracking domain on your domain. Um, so when we know when people clicked on it, that way you can use this step right here, wait for email, you know, click, open, reply, et cetera. So uh, let me know if you guys have any more questions in the comments and we'll get to it. If you guys have other, uh, you know, webhook services, Zapier, Pabli, anything you want connected, let us know, we'll get it added. I do wanna point out that we do have the full control API step. People are asking, you know, why did you guys add Pablo? Why did you guys add Zapier? You guys can replace Zapier <laughs> most of the time, right? So um, we do have the API step in here. You know, this one is for like the, maybe the more advanced people, right? Cause you got the, it's like building an API with no code. You can control like, if you're gonna get data, push data, you can set the query string parameters, the header data for authentication. You can actually save the response. Right, you get a lot of control and options you can do on here. Um, whereas the the Zapier webhook, Pabli webhook, right, is just you copy and paste the URL and you're done. Um, so super easy to do. But feel free to jump in and play with the custom API one. You can connect to any API, uh, literally under the sun. Even you know doing from XML, JSON, form fields, custom code. You know, you name it. You can actually send your own custom request body, which is really cool. I don't, I haven't seen another system that that does that. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm going over the questions now. Does this help connecting Facebook leads and Facebook Messenger? So that's a great question. We have the Facebook uh, Messenger that is going to be released very soon. It's actually in process right now. That's something that's in the chat. So if you 
If you guys have gone into the chat section, I'll just show you that really quick. You can go into chat, click on inbox. You should see this button that says like coming soon for when you try to add the Facebook Messenger. So that one is there. Um, someone's actually actively working and testing that right now to get that in there. Facebook lead ads, um, that is something you can do today with the webhooks. Um, but at that one, we're trying to make even easier by getting our own Facebook app approved. So we're going to have it so you could just click a button and it syncs with your ad account and gets the, the, uh, the forms and all that for your, for your lead ads. So that's a great question. Uh, let's see. Next question is, is there a way to send contact information from Facebook groups directly to FlowTrack or should we use one of those Facebook group softwares and connect it to FlowTrack? So I think you're talking about, uh, I think I know what you're talking about, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so yes, you're looking at using, you know, a webhook, right? Or you can use a webhook, you can use the form endpoint. Uh, you can send any type of data to FlowTrack, right? And that's the cool thing about how we design the forms. Uh, in the database, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say you have uh, some other software, right? And that software is going to send you some data, or you wanna get some data from that software in a flow track. This is that Zapier type of functionality. So let's say you're, it's gonna send you their name and their email, right? Maybe it's just two fields. Okay, great. Well, let's go ahead and save this, and we'll call this the uh, uh, Facebook group, um, you know, API, whatever. So I save this. And now you're like, why did I just create a form? What, what, why did I need to do that? Well, let's show you why. <laughs> so when you create a form, you click on this link button, you obviously get a link to fill out the form, but you get an API endpoint. You can think of this as like your Pabli Connect webhook URL or your Zapier webhook URL, right? This is the API document. So you just got to click on this. You get some custom API documentation. It's going to show you the data that it expects, right? And this is the data we just created on the form. So it's super easy to connect any data source anywhere. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, let me know if it did not. And um, let's see, uh, I got some people saying they use this to connect to Pabbly. It makes their life easier. You're welcome. Uh, any good ideas you guys have, let us know. We'll get it added into FlowTrack. So that's all for today. Uh, or no, that's all for now. We got some other announcements uh, coming with the, uh, the chat bots and a few other things, the video upload in the website builder, video hosting, and a bunch more. So stay tuned and hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Thanks.